So I would say, you know, it's kind of interesting, you know, the treatment for sinusitis has not had any new treatments for a long time. You know, the polymab is the first new type of treatment or first new type of medication used for the treatment of sinusitis with these polyps. And basically, we haven't had one for 30, 40 years. And so everything else has been almost antibiotic and steroids or variations of steroids, but there's no new class. The pool map is new, uh, a new class. And not only is it a new class of medicine, but it's a new class of medicine that I think is going to be very effective. And so it got to the point where some of the people are wondering how much will this impact sinus surgery for a patient. Because currently, the only way to really treat patients with sinusitis with these polyps is to do surgery. I'm not sure that the biologist will um, make sinus surgery obsolete. I think sinus surgery will still be a part of these patients. But what these biologics may do is maybe decrease the risk of doing revision sinus surgery and prevent the polyps from coming back. So I think it will be huge in terms of minimizing the need for having to do surgery over and over again. You know, the patients in our studies, 75% um, of them had at least one sinus surgery before they came to see us. At least one. The highest number was 11 sinus surgery. So, they, so one patient, a few patients had 11 sinus surgery before they enrolled in the study. So these are people who are having repeat surgery after repeat surgery after repeat surgery. So with the pool map, you know, which can decrease the risk of um, the pulse forming, or if the pulse does form, and, and it can shrink it down to the point where it's no longer burdensome, it will help with decreasing sinus surgery in the future. So I think that will happen. Um, you know, will that, will dupulumab also help with other disease process? I think so. It may also help with the use of systemic steroids or other medications that I think people will use chronically. Steroids, especially oral steroids or systemic steroids, is miserable. You know, there's a lot of complications associated with it. That's something that you don't want to use on a regular basis. I think uh, the dupulumab or dupixent will be an alternative to that in the future. So I think it will help patients overall long term.